Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and we are going to be doing KS Craft again today but first now I'm going to blame you Kim for this if any of you watch uh, Kim's YouTube she shared some digis from Etsy that were like 38 cents each so I spent yesterday you know just fussy cutting out a few of what I'd purchased but I did get some other stuff as well but I haven't had a chance to cut those out yet. So they cost me just 38 cents to do those. So I'm very, very happy. So thank you, Kim. <laughs> and uh, one of the other things I noticed as well is that it fits the medium shaker dome. So I'm really, really happy about that. I can make some cute little tags. So once again, thank you, Kim. Right, now then, on to today. And we're doing something... <laughs> And I'm not sure it's going to work. Okay. So I'm just putting that caveat there at the beginning. And we're doing the wax seals. Now, I've told people lots of times I've tried doing wax seals. I don't know what it is I do wrong. But it just ends up looking like a modge podge of melted lipstick with a bit of oatmeal stirred in. So I quite like it when you get dyes that will do the job for you. So we're going to do two large and two small and i'm going to show you what i've cut out so you get a top layer and you get a base layer and i've done two of those so we're going to do two large i'm just squiddling around this is the smaller one and i've cut the little gingerbread layer out and i've cut the reindeer out and i've also for the little one cut the heart out because you do get different sizes to do this now i did share um the die in the haul video so if you need to go back and look and see exactly what you get in that then you can go back and watch that so embossing powder is what we're going to use on these and i'm using pink tinsel which is a ranger one there you go it's quite pretty actually we're going to be using a really old one that I dug out of a box called Opaque Ginger. Let's have a look at and see what that one's like after all these years. And also this one that I bought years ago. Shame on me and have never used it. And I do believe this is um, a kind of silver metallic or something. We're going to find out. And also the um, innies from the outies aren't they sweet i just wanted to share those so don't throw those away because you can use those on other things right i will scoot those and i'm also using a lena crafts embossing ink pad in transparent i've got myself a pair of doodars so i don't burn my fingers and we're also going to be using a picked pen this one is called green gold now i pretty sure that these are alcohol ink based let's have a look no it's not it's oh yeah it is blah 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 it's written in a language i don't understand but i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna take the lid off and smell it it doesn't smell alcohol inky i know i've had it for a few years but i'm using this one so that's the pen that i'm using in green gold now then we have to glue these bits all together so the whole thing is going to look white so the tops and the bottoms are if you look at them they will match up so i'm just putting a little bit of glue onto here and then i'm going to match it up and i'm hoping that it's this way no that doesn't look right does it yeah i'm just going to move stuff around hang on i'm going to pick it up and look at it it looks like that to me yeah right so that one is lined up almost scoot that around there and i'm just going to do the same with the small and the large and i will be back Right, so those are done. And the next thing we need to do is put our teeny weeny elements in. So I've got my little heart here. And I'm just drizzling some glue around the edge. And I'm going to pop that there. 
So the whole thing is just white for the moment and we hope <laughs> that the embossing powder is going to work and if it doesn't work at least it was fun uh, you know finding out so we're going to pop the little deer down in there make sure he fits in And you can, of course, use these to cut images and uh, they look really pretty too. And then I suppose if it works, you could uh, embossing powder the edges. And if you like to do vintage ones, you know, craft card stock, um, a little bit of embossing glaze and some vintage Christmas images and a little bit of ribbon behind when you're done. And that would look really sweet. And so there is my gingerbread. Right, I'm going to make sure those are completely dry and I'll be right back. So I think those are sufficiently dry and I've put down a heat mat and a piece of white cardstock. And I think I'm going to start with the gingerbread. So I'm moving those other two out of the way and I'm bringing in my ink embossing pad. And all I'm going to do... <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has already done this. If you have, let me know below because clearly you had some success or you didn't with it. I'm about to find out. And I'm just pushing that very gently into the embossing ink pad. And then I'm looking at it. Yeah, I think that's coated. Who knows what it's going to end up looking like. But currently it is coated and I'm just going to use my tweezers very gently to flip that up and put it down right so I'm using this ancient opaque ginger and I don't know if it's still going to work it should because um, embossing powders all they are is plastic so I'm making sure that that's well buried and one of the things I like to do is just take my finger and tap it just to make sure I've got an even coating and then I'm going to go in with my tweezers this is going to be fun and uh, try and lift give it a tap there's quite a bit stuck onto there Let's have a look. Ooh, well I've got some white bits showing through, but of course you can always put a second layer on. So I'm just putting that down on my mat for a second while I pop this into its bottle. Because this is why embossing powder lasts you forever. Because you just don't get any waste really. Right, and now I need to pop the lids on. I'm just going to pop that back down onto there. Now, I'm well aware that I've got white bits sticking through. But let's get the heat gun on it first. And then we might put a second layer. Right, I'm just getting my heat gun hot. And I've had my heat gun now for... I reckon it's got to be close to 20 years. So I do apologise if I'm blocking the camera. I'm somebody who doesn't really like to wave my uh, heat tool around. I just like to leave it and let it melt. In fact, I don't think I need to hold that. making sure I've got it done. There's some bits that aren't shiny. I've got my head underneath the heat tool trying to see. Right, so let's have a look at that first of all. We are going to do a second coat. And I don't want everyone sitting there forever. Let's have a look. Right, so we've got that and we can see it's shiny. We can see that that's raised, so I'm just going to let that cool just for a second because it's still quite warm and uh, pop it back into the, um, the embossing pad 
and see if we can get a better coverage with a second coat now i have got a couple of embossing pens but i tell you i haven't got a clue where i put them i thought i'd pop them in my pen pot and uh, i got them on sale from ranger because of course those are perfect for getting into little areas that you just can't get into otherwise right so we're going to do it again and this time i don't really need to put so much down but i can see the areas where i've missed so i'm going to concentrate on those and press down with my finger there i'm going all over it now try and get in them little bits give it a good tap I'm going to go in with my tweezers you can see that just looks thoroughly covered so I'm going to knock it from the sides so there's a little bit there that's missing So I'm going to try and just scoop a tiny little bit into that area because sometimes when you've got some down um, it will kind of stick anyway so that is what it's looking like so I'm just going to scoop my stuff back in and come straight back right so I'm just heating up my gun again and let's do a second coat and see what we have got waiting for it to melt hope this isn't too loud uh, on the mic it looks like we have success on the second coating so fingers crossed I don't really um, want to overheat it let's have a look at this right that's still a little bit hot and I don't really want to touch it with anything sharp so I'm just looking at it can you see that I think I've melted everything I touch it with my finger and find out. So that is all smooth and waxy. And there is a shine to it. It looks kind of like milk chocolate, actually. I don't know why I haven't had that embossing powder out before. Yeah. Right, let me just fold this in half so that I've got a clean bit to work with. I'm just going to pop that down onto there. I don't really want to get embossing powder onto my pen and now let's have a look what happens when we do this I'm wondering if this colour is too close to what's on there let's have a look yeah it is it's very very close in color if i scribble it down there you can see but i'm going to use it anyway because it might be kind of nice for highlighting so i'm doing the edges of that and i can see i've got some white bits here i'm just going to mask those and then go around my gingerbread I think I'm going to colour my gingerbread in let's have a look at that 
Ooh, isn't that nice? Oh, I like that. I've been on camera 15 minutes already and that's all I've done. But there's something else that I need to do. Ooh, right. I need to candy up the edges. And then what I'll do is I'll quickly go off camera, emboss the other two in those two colours and then come back and colour those so that you're not sitting there forever. So I'm going to get some glue. Now we don't have a clue once again how this is going to turn out so I just want to do my edges because I just think this is going to make a real fun embellishment and I've got a little bit of twine on my desk so I can use some of that now I need to keep my fingers in the middle as I go right so that's that and then I've got some of my lovely rock candy glitter that I'm going to put in there and then I'm going to dunk the edge and then we'll leave it to dry and see what happens I think I've got all the bits there. Ooh, I went and put my thumb in that bit. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, isn't that lovely? That's so pretty. Right, I'm going to pop that one here to try. And then I'm going to go off and emboss the others because you've just seen how I did that one. And uh, let's come back and colour those in and see what happens with those. Right, so I went away and done those, but I've dropped the camera down because the glue isn't yet dry on this all over yet. But you can see it's got that gorgeous frosting all around the edge. So when that dries clear that's going to look really lovely and I'm going to try and tip it into the light so that does look like wax actually now this one was using that kind of thick grain embossing and I've left some white bits because let's see how close we can get because I really love that mottled effect and I think it's supposed to be uh, melted mercury that's what that embossing powder is supposed to be. But you can still see elements. Now, I'm going to go over this with a pen and see what happens because it wasn't so apparent on that one because it's very similar in shade. So let's have a look and see if it works on this. Possibly because of uh, what's under it, it's going to look more bright gold but if we can just highlight our little reindeer there that's going to look great Ooh, let's have a look now I need to tip it towards me so I can have a little see of what's going down in this region and across the top of his head now I don't think the colours receding too much on that but what I will do is go around the edge she says throwing her lid down hoping that I'm going to find it afterwards I'm just going to comb the edge of this one see how that looks But I really do like that embossing powder. I'm going to keep that on my desk now. <laughs> yeah. Because it's very kind of vintagey Christmassy. And I can just imagine some of the um, diamond dust thrown into it is going to look really pretty. But I'm telling you, that embossing powder has got to be 20 years old. Look at that. Now that little white bit that I've left there. I think I'm going to go in there with the 
the pen and see what happens there maybe a little bit more kind of make it look a little bit distressed on purpose and I've got a little gap there yeah I will quit while I'm ahead she says putting the pen straight back down and let's have a close-up of that one oh I really like that of course you've got to remember to keep your fingers out of it while it's drying <gasps> oh yeah I like that so I put that down with my gingerbread which is still drying but you can see it's starting to turn clear now in areas now this one is sparkly so let's see how close we can get there there we go so you've got sparkle and it's slightly mottled so what I'm going to do there is just colour the heart in so I just need to move it towards me slightly so that I can see now this has got a little bit of texture so if you're using a sparkly embossing powder and a, a felt type nib just dab it very gently so you don't destroy your pen So that's kind of highlighted that. Let's see again. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my camera's not doing it justice, but it's just so sparkly and lovely. I really love that. Let's have a look at Mr. Ginger again. Turn him away from the light and into the light. Oh, isn't that great? I mean, seriously, if you have stuck with me while all my glue has been drying and stuff, I really do appreciate you. I thank you so much. But that is what I've got for you today. So now you can get your, your wax seal type dies out and have some fun and try some different, you know, textures and stuff on them and little bits of glitter. But that's great. And... I love the gingerbread and I do love the deer and as I said this this is staying on my desk now I've been very naughty all my embossing powders I've got hundreds of them they're just hiding in a box so that one's now on my desk you'll be seeing more of it I, I thank you so much for joining me today have an absolutely wonderful day and as usual all links below bye